how to debloat the Poco X3 Pro without root and without a computer. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can debloat the Poco X3 Pro running MIUI 12 based on Android 11 without a computer and without having to root your device. Now, this is my POCO X3 Pro and all the files, all the applications, all the commands which we're going to use in this video are linked in the description of this video. So first up, we will go into the file manager application, go into APKs. Here we have the application called LADB and this of course is an APK. We are going to install this. As you can see, it is telling us that it is blocked by Play Protect. So a lot of you are going to be worried. Well, to answer your question, is the application safe or not? The application is open source and you can find the source code in the description of this video. So over here, we are going to select install anyway. Once the application has installed successfully, and of course, Xiaomi is going to give us something about send app for scanning and i'm going to select don't send so the application has now been installed successfully next thing we need to do is we are going to open the play store and here we need to search for an application called app inspector so a p p space inspector here it is app inspector and we need to install this application and now app inspector has been installed successfully and before i forget the application ladb is also available on the google play store but it is a paid application i think it's like three dollars or something and there is another separate drama about how the developer is using something developed by another developer and the thread or the post about that i have linked in the description of this video all those things apart the drama apart we now have ladb in the building here it is and we also have another application called app inspector so this is my application drawer let us say we want to remove the clock and the compass application for starters if i go into app info you will see i cannot uninstall the clock and similarly for the compass as well i cannot uninstall it why because this is a system application so first up what we need to do is we'll go into settings and then we will go into about phone all specs here we need to tap on miui version seven times you will get a toast that you are now a developer now we can go back to the main page of settings scroll down go into additional settings we will have an option called developer options go inside that and here first up enable the wireless debugging if you get allow from this network make sure you check this option and then say allow next up enable usb debugging and of course the super secure miui operating system wants me to give a warning message about enabling usb debugging as well anyways select accept over here also next up we can go back to the home screen and now let us open ladb so here it is ladb in the building you can see it is asking us for the port and the pairing code where do you get this well let us go back to the home screen and you can go back into settings and developer options here we are wireless debugging tap on this option and now select pair device with pairing code here it is so this is our pairing code and the port is after the colon over here this is our port now because i do not have good memory let me take a picture of this just trying to save some paper and let me open the gallery application so that i have all the information which i need next up let us open the recents and then we can press and hold on the wireless debugging option and open the split screen mode the next application which we need to open in split screen is the l a d b so we can scroll up say pair device with the code and as you can see the code has now changed so of course i will have to take another 
picture and here it is picture is in the building now and let me open it sorry for being a bit clumsy here it is and we can enter that information over here so the port is the part after the colon so it is four three four one five so this is our port and the pairing code is zero five one one five four once we have entered this information let us double check four three four one five zero five one one five four we are going to say okay and there it is you can see we got the success message and we also got a notification about wireless debugging being enabled right now it is actually waiting for the device here it is wireless debugging has been connected and we have the success message in ladb as well next thing let us try to enter a command so here it is let me enter get enforce which should get us the se linux status press the enter key bam here it is se linux is set as enforcing we can now exit the split screen mode open la db now we are going to remove the applications which we do not want which is where the app inspector come into the picture so we open the application app inspector and we had decided that we are going to remove the clock and the compass application so here it is let us tap on clock and the important things which we need from here are the package name so what i suggest take a screenshot so we'll take a screenshot of clock and similarly compass also we are trying to remove so let us take a screenshot of this as well now we can go back go to clock and if you tap on package name it is going to copy it to the clipboard because this is some information which we need now we can go back to the ladb application and herein we need to enter the command to remove this application so we can debloat our device so the command for that is pm and then uninstall space hyphen k space hyphen hyphen user space zero and then the package name press and hold and just say paste so here it is it was pasted successfully and of course all the commands which we are using in this video can be found in the description as well to make your life easier once you have entered the command press the check mark there it is we got success so we have successfully removed one of the applications and that was the clock application next up let us say we want to remove the compass as well so back into app inspector compass tap on the package name copy it to clipboard successfully l a d b and we need to enter the command one more time so again pm space uninstall space hyphen k space hyphen hyphen user space zero space and the package name which we are going to paste here and as you can see com.mui.compass enter there it is success again now next thing very easy go ahead and reboot your device back into miui we can of course unlock our device and i do need to enter my pin first now once we have entered the pin let us go to our application drawer and bam as you can see we do not have clock and we do not have compass so we have successfully deep loaded two applications now what if you want those applications back we again need to use l a d b but before that we of course need to go back into settings additional settings developer options and usb debugging should be enabled wireless debugging gets disabled again always allow on this network and allow next up we will open ladb and wait for it so that it can find the device there it is wireless debugging was connected successfully and again you get the success message let us try my check command which is get enforce this just makes sure that it is working there it is se linux is set as enforcing now to get the applications back we need the package name again so we took the screenshots let us go to the gallery application and here it is this is the clock and here is the name com.android dot desk clock similarly here's the name for the compass com.miui.desk dot 
compass so let us open ladb and the command for that is cmd space package space install hyphen existing space name of the package and what was the name of the package it was com.miui.compass so we will type that in once we have entered the command check mark there it is it was installed for user zero and we can now go ahead and reboot our device back into miui of course unlock the device enter the pin and now we can open the application drawer bam here it is the compass application is now back the clock has still not come back because we did not reinstall it and feel free to reinstall it in case you want to and i do have a list of all the applications which can be removed without any issues and of course please note you will have to enable wireless debugging every time you reboot your device and if you are smart enough you can of course create a shell script to remove applications in one go instead of typing it again and again and there it is peeps that is how you debloat your poco x3 pro without root without a computer and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you